The Ministry of External Affairs, International Trade, Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs has facilitated a sizable monetary contribution from a St. Lucian in the regional diaspora to the Holy Family Children's Home in St. Lucia. This presentation represents the third large donation towards a special cause by individuals in the diaspora in 2021. More in this report from Glenn Simon. How do we give back? The Ministry of External Affairs, International Trade, Civil Aviation and Diaspora Affairs facilitated a monetary donation to the Holy Family Children's Home from St. Lucian-born Marjorie Dussel Zephrin, now resident in Martinique. Martha Pierre, who made the presentation on behalf of Marjorie Dussel, said her cousin was born in the town of Soufre to Enos and Julia Calix and has been considering for quite some time now how she could contribute to the country of her birth. She sought the assistance of the consul in Martinique, Ms. Joanna Sultan, to determine the most effective way and, and meaningful way as well that she could contribute to the welfare of children in St. Lucia. It is on her behalf that I, as the oldest relative residing here, makes this presentation of EC $30,000 to Sister Antonia David. Administrator of the Holy Family Children's Home, Sister Antonia David, expressed her gratitude for this timely donation, which will greatly assist the home in molding productive citizens of St. Lucia. It's difficult for persons everywhere and to come to the point of choosing to give back to St. Lucia and, and to give to children. And I often tell people, these are the persons who will be taking care of us tomorrow. So they will be the ones sitting here in the not so far future as the ministers and the doctors and nurses and you know, doing exactly what Madame Duchelle is doing. So we are very grateful for this opportunity. Thank you, Madame Duchelle. Um, and your friends and family. Ambassador for Diaspora Affairs, Joycelyn Fletcher, recognized the importance of the diaspora to national development and said that this was the third individual in the diaspora who has made such large contributions in 2021. You have just again proven my point about the diaspora, how important they are and what they do. And it has been the mantra of this office since it was set up two years ago, to ensure that St. Lucia knows what our diaspora are doing and that our diaspora are very, very important people and that they're important to the social and economic development of St. Lucia. Madame Dussel was visibly pleased that her contribution had gone to service the needs of the children of the Holy Family Children's Home. Via Zoom connection, she applauded the managers of the home for the wonderful work they have been doing. When you said about youngsters, I thought they were teenagers. But when I saw the pictures and I saw the young children and so on, I was very impressed. And I think I have been loving them from then. Well, I'm very glad of that idea. She, she chose that group. So I thank everyone who was in charge because we could not be there personally to do all what we had to do. But then uh, everything has been done, and I, uh, and I thank all my family. The Czech presentation was held in the conference room of the Ministry of External Affairs in the presence of the Minister for External Affairs, Honorable Alva Baptiste, or the senior members of staff and family members of Marjorie Dussel Zephyr. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.